Another week is winding down and that means film focus. Here's Mike Slademan with what's new in local theaters. Well, this is it. The moment for which millions have been waiting. It's time for Endgame. But before we see just what the Avengers and company are up to, we've got to check in with the devil because he's always standing in the way of true cinematic pleasure, is he not? The Curse of La Llorona is now in its second week, and when it was playing alongside Hellboy, it was the more desirable option. But now that it's up against Endgame, well, all bets are off. Yeah, that's right, the new adaptation of Hellboy opened last week. If you can still find it in theaters, should you watch it? No, probably not. Welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Lademan. It's been since 2008, when Tony Stark first donned the Iron Man suit, that we have all been waiting for this day. We just didn't know it at the time. At the end of Infinity War, Thanos did the unthinkable, and having gathered all six Infinity Stones, snapped half of all life in the universe out of existence. Now it's up to those left alive to put together the pieces and find a way to restore all the life that was taken away. We've become very attached to all of the MCU characters over the last 21 movies, and Endgame is a fitting swan song for all of them. Something to which Marvel has introduced audiences over this time is the idea of an effects-laden superhero movie with true heart. And if Infinity War did anything for you, then know that Endgame is bringing all that to the table and more. So much more. In 1970s Los Angeles, La Llorona is stalking the night and the children. Ignoring the eerie warning of a troubled mother suspected of child endangerment, a social worker and her own small kids are soon drawn into a frightening supernatural realm. Their only hope to survive La Llorona's deadly wrath may be a disillusioned priest and the mysticism he practices to keep evil at bay on the fringes where fear and faith collide. La Llorona feels a lot like the Conjuring universe, where evil must be fought with the help of a priest. And in fact, it's produced by James Wan, known for his work on the Conjuring series. So is it worth spending some time with this unholy terror of the night? Maybe, but maybe not. La Llorona relies on a lot of jump scares and never explores the depths and mystery of its titular character, which is a shame. There are really very few people for whom Endgame is unsuitable, so if it's between Thanos and the Devil, well, I'd recommend the villain with a bit of heart. Rinsing. <laughs> 